first time the Senate passed a resolution apologizing for slavery and racial segregation. CNN's Kate Baldwin has more. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed no. A silence that spoke volumes. The Senate formally and for the first time apologizing to African Americans for slavery and segregation, institutions sanctioned by Congress. It's long past due. A national apology by the representative body of the people is a necessary collective response to a past collective injustice. We acknowledge that. Uh, we uh, say it was wrong, and we ask for forgiveness for that. The resolution states the Senate apologizes to African Americans on behalf of the people of the United States for the wrongs committed against them and their ancestors who suffered under slavery and Jim Crow laws. In a capital built by slaves, the moment especially poignant for the only African American currently in the Senate, Roland Burris, the great-great-grandson of a slave. This resolution cannot erase the terrible legacy, but it can help to heal the wounds of centuries gone by. The vote fell on the eve of Juneteenth, or June 19th, the oldest known celebration of the end of slavery. Just a short distance from the Capitol, we asked African Americans what this Senate vote meant to them. It's a long time coming, don't you think? But we've come a long way. It doesn't really do anything or address the problems that that we're facing in this country still. Some African American activists say the Senate vote is a first step, but not enough. Reparations has to be decided. That's something further down the line. There's nothing in this bill that refers to reparations one way or another. Congress has passed similar measures before, apologizing to Japanese Americans for internment during World War II, and last year apologizing to Native Americans for past instances of violence and neglect. Lawmakers are planning a formal celebration to commemorate the slavery apology resolution early next month. Kate Baldwin, CNN, Washington.